Hello, this is Hope from Tribe for Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I want to introduce everyone to an add-on called the Real-Time Materials Add-on by Ducky3D. I think it's been out for a couple of years, but this is the newer version of it, and it works really good. It's, it's something like Extreme PBR, uh, but it doesn't have like as many materials. Extreme PBR, PBR has like, you know, uh, texture maps for roads and streets and snow and things like that. This doesn't have that, but this just works just as well. Also, this works in uh, EV and in cycles just seamlessly, so that really helps a lot. I'm trying to just stay as far back from the mic as I can to avoid the hissing sounds. Uh, but yeah, back to the tutorial. I just want to see or showcase what it can do. Now, once again, I'll leave a link for the add-on uh, in the description below the video so you guys can download it out and try it. And the good thing about this add-on also is that I think it's around $50 for the professional license, but there's a free version of it that contains 40 materials that you guys can just uh, sample and use yourself just to get it, give it a try. And I'm using Blender 2. Point, let me see, this has got to be 2.81. So it works in 2.81. I think it works in any version of 2.8, uh, but not in 2.9 or 2.8. 3.0 but just 2.8 any version 2.8 I think it should work and once again once you've installed it or downloaded it onto your system with the same process go to edit preferences navigate to where you've installed it click on install first then navigate to where you've installed it click on install add-on I've already done that and then put a check in the box you can see that I've got two this is the older one and this is the new one the older one uh, only had thumbnails that were kind of small and I'll show you what I mean by that once you put the check in the box that activates it and the next thing you want to do let's turn to site let's turn to EV and the viewport here so you can see what it looks like and let's change our lighting to something bright so you can see what's happening and the older version you press shift A and from the pop-up menu you would navigate to real time materials and you see all your options there, all your materials right here. Uh, but people were complaining that it was just kind of too small to see sometimes. So now in the newer version 2.0, you have the uh, thumbnails larger on the tool shelf over here. And you still have the other option of pressing Shift A and pulling up uh, the uh, materials in the uh, pop up menu for easier, faster access. But um, I've got Suzanne here, uh, for models, Suzanne. So we can really test how it looks in terms of it uh, stretching the materials over uh, the model. I have a basic cube, have this uh, ecosphere here, and this sphere. So we're going to see how it looks on all these uh, elements. But let's go to Suzanne first. Let's see what it looks like on Suzanne. So we're going to scroll up on Suzanne to see how the material works on her. And let me see, let me click on organic. And this is like a whole set of different leather material. Let's click on the green one and you just click add material. And it does it automatically. Let's go to EV, see what it looks like in EV. It might take a bit of time to compile the material, but once it's compiled, there you have it, it's an EV. And it looks pretty good. You can adjust the materials also. Uh, by going to your texture tab, the material tab here, and all your adjustable settings or here. Uh, you can adjust roughness scale for this, uh, distribution, the small cells, you know, make those smaller, uh, make, adjust the big cells, make those bigger, or adjust them to however you want, adjust the shape of them. That's pretty cool. And the good thing about this, I think you can animate that. Can you animate it? No. It would be cool if you could animate the the uh, the um, parameters here, because that was really cool. The way the uh, shape would change every time. It looks like it's like uh, morphing into something else, or kind of sizzling in the pan when you adjust the shape. But I guess you can't do that. You can adjust the bump also, make it really bumpy or less bumpy. And adjust the hue also. And like I said, it works in cycles and in EV. And we can see from Suzanne's face here, 
Because Suzanne, she's a good uh, way you can uh, utilize or see how a texture wraps itself around an object that has a lot of curves to it. Because as you can see uh, with Suzanne, there's no like weird looking uh, texturing going on around the eyes. It all looks pretty much well laid out, which is great. And you can easily change the material. Click on it, or let's let's choose something different. Let's go to abstract. Uh, let me see. Let's go to metal, and let's choose this flat tech glow, and just click add material. Give it a few minutes to generate, and there you go. It adds the material to it, and this is even. Let's how, see how it looks in cycles. Let me click on. Let me see. Turn this to cycles. Few second. There we go. Yeah, and it looks just as good in cycles. Now we've seen how it looks on Suzanne. Let's see how it looks on the cube. So I'm going to go press one on my keyboard. I'm going to drag this off to the side. Left click on our cube, and let's choose a different material. Let's choose rusty and add a material. Once again, the layout of the texture is great. Let's go back to Eevee so we can have a better, uh, faster view of what we're looking at. But uh, yeah, there's no stretching, there's no weird uh, warping of the texture at all. And it just lays out really, really nicely on our model. And you have to understand when it comes to texturing models, Especially when this is none of this stuff is UV unwrapped, all of it is just generated onto the material. And when sometimes when you apply texture to materials, you just see weird warping of the texture onto the material, but it's not happening at all. So this is a well designed add on. Let's move on to our ecosphere here. Let's see how, how it handles textures on that. Let's choose something else. Let me go to paint. That's a good one. That's a good one to choose add material. Let's give it a few minutes to generate. And it generates pretty fast too. And yeah. <clears throat> I mean it's got <clears throat> excuse me. It's got all kinds of uh uh geometry on it that would cause warping or kind of weird texturing, but it is just laying on real nicely onto the material which is onto the model which is great. So you can see the shininess of the uh, painted metal or paint onto the uh, you can see the reflection right there on the of the paint on the uh, material there some areas where it's blue where it's not supposed to be reflective it's not but on the silver part where it's supposed to be reflective it is so that's a nice touch they really really uh, put a lot of thought into this uh, add-on because it, it works really great and the final material final model we're going to test on is a sphere and, and in a sphere you can really see a lot of uh, errors and textures, especially at the top. I'm clicking at the top here where the uh, the uh, points meet at the top. There's usually, when you apply a texture to it, it there's usually a lot of like stretching at the top. But let's see how, how the uh, real-time add-on handles applying a texture onto a, a UV sphere, onto a sphere. So let's choose um, let me see. Let me choose a different category here. Practical. Okay, this is a good example. Brick. Let's click on Add Material. Let's see what it does. Give it a few seconds to. Oh, okay. And yeah, it does a good job. Let's press one on our keyboard. It does a good job of just distributing the textures onto material onto models I mean and it, there's no stretching <clears throat> at all there's no strange warping of the texture on the model anywhere so this is a really really, really well thought up thought up and thought out <clears throat> excuse me thought out um, add-on when it comes to textures like I said it works in Eevee and the cycles equally well you can adjust the uh, 
uh, parameters in terms of the way the texture looks uh, right on off to the side here in the materials tool uh, bar here and it's just great so yeah this is a really really great alternative to the extreme PBR add-on the real-time materials add-on is works great looks great and acts great and once again, I hope this was uh, helpful for those of you who are watching. And thanks again for you, uh, those of you have, uh, um, those of you who have subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's a tongue twister, but who have subscribed to the channel in the past. Those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who will subscribe in the future, really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.